And here we are, we are playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, we've got the whole gang here. Uh, Mr. Zach Miner, one Justin Massenkill, and Ryan Clements. Uh, I said. This, I'm gonna take a guess that this is this is my footage. This looks like me playing Horizon Zero Dawn here. This is indeed, and we are not actively playing this, we should say. We, we got a chance, uh, you and I both did, Sid, to play quite a bit of Horizon Zero Dawn uh, at a recent preview event. Uh, so we thought we would uh, take a extended look at some uh, different clips that both of us captured. Now Ryan and I are just going to judge all of this footage <laughs> because neither of us played. That's right. Now this is this is also me. You can notice it's me helping. sometimes because I kind of do the beauty shots. I kind of spin the camera around. I try to, uh, you know, just make the game look its best, which is actually quite easy because it is a gorgeous you looking game. It, it really is. Um, so yeah. so here, uh, this is kind of early in the game, so there's not going to be a ton of spoilers. Um, but I believe, Sid, you were just kind of running around and stumbled across uh, this guy who was kind of yelling at you to come over and offering up a little side quest here. It's it's true. Yeah, I heard I heard somebody shouting for help and being the good Samaritan that I am and the, and the quality citizen that I am, I wandered over. <laughs> what a nice man you are. And I, I want to point out, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn, I mean, this is from Guerrilla Games, the guys that brought us Killzone over the years. And this is something different. It's an open world RPG, strong action emphasis. But one of the things that was so interesting playing it is, you know, you can, as you can see, these dialogue choices. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a proper RPG. It's right. a proper open world game with, with quests and items and crafting. We're going to be taking a closer look at all that here. But, um, yeah, so in this quest... Well, that quest is done now. No, this is it. We, <laughs> oh, we've okay. In the interest of time, we jumped, we've ahead. jumped ahead. That's that's totally I'm fair. Surrounded. So I was. Uh, uh, he asked me to find his daughter, who was uh, trapped. So a fearsome fight. Is that his suit. daughter? That's a, that's not nope. his daughter. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> Something has gone horribly wrong <laughs> with his daughter. <laughs> uh, so, so these are watchers, and they just kind of did like a sort of a glare attack there that, that kind of. Ah. <laughs> oh, so the watchers did that. Okay. The watchers did that. Um, now I was I, I was I wanted to show off kind of an array of, of different attacks here. The melee in this game is actually fun. It's not something they've shown a ton of. Um, it, it's not going to be mistaken for God of War, but it's very crunchy, very satisfying feel, as you can see there. I just kind of wallop those that's, guys. That's the first time I've seen Alloy just, like, go for it with melee-style combat. That's she great. is or a Aloy. badass. Aloy. Yeah. Aloy. 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 Thank you. Um, also, what was surprising to me, so you can see that you can kind of craft uh, items here kind of mid-battle. Real-time um, crafting. Yeah, exactly. So if you need... Uh, you need some new arrows or something Bam, like that. Bam! Look at that. Oh, Headshot. That's so is that a critical right through the lens. spot? If you hit them yes. in their glowing eyeball, is that a crit? I oh, yeah. I want to point out that every time that I drilled an arrow right down the eyeball of a watcher, a <laughs> chill went right up my spine. <laughs> the game feels so good. It's got a really tight feel. The mechanics are really robust. Uh, this blast bomb hmm. uh, thing hurt. We'll get some footage with that, I think, a little later. Uh, oh, this is the uh, the rope caster. Oh, okay. And this is the one you can use this to immobilize enemies. You know, I was trying to. <laughs> 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 You're like, <laughs> he's thrashing around there. Oh, here's the bomb. There we go. Do it again. Oh, careful. Oh, You're careful. Close. Sid. Be careful. Hey, look, this thing's ornery. Look at that. Yeah. Kaboom. Get him. There we go. Well done. And there's different types of bombs oh. that you can arm in, into that thing. Oh, here oh. we go. Here's the object oh. of our quest. Was she just like hanging out watching you kill those? She things? was up in the tree. Oh, okay. So those little that yellow rope there on the tree. <laughs> We're still figuring out the controls here. Uh, the yellow rope on the tree means that you can like climb it and you can scale up that. The yellow is kind of an indicator that that's a climbable object. Ah, cool. Here's another one I want to point out real quick. Something I was uh, really praising the guys at Gorilla, you know, Herman and all the guys were there. Look at the facial animations. Yeah, it's Some of the best facial animation tech I've ever seen, and I I actually didn't realize they put so much work into it. Yeah, it, it's astounding. I I talked to uh, the gang at, at Gorilla a little bit, kind of just. About the okay, visual fidelity and one of the things i didn't think about when i was considering this because i you know i look at horizon and i'm just like oh it's grill like of course this is going to be a incredibly looking game yeah yeah is that this is on a scale that's kind of unlike anything they've done before right uh, oh absolutely to, to produce the incredible kind of visual quality of um kill zone you know you're making kind of a, a, sh a relatively linear shooter here you're completely open so what is what is this now we're jumping over to my footage for somewhat of a different tactic uh <laughs> to approach <laughs> combat scenarios so we're using a Aloy's focus here. Um, and so that allows you to scan and tag enemies. You can see that there's a little kind of a 
little oh, on-screen yeah, yeah, indicator yeah. over where that enemy is and there's some yellow highlights there so the yellow highlights are vulnerabilities and let's see do i uh, i go back up there <laughs> this is already so different so you can see the blaze the canister <laughs> is a weakness <laughs> right um perhaps this is like the personality test of sid and i so <laughs> what do you think happens if i shoot the blaze canisters with my fire arrows i have no idea oh. 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 That is satisfying. So you, you, keep, you keep getting these little point values. Are those like experience points or something damage like that? Points. Damage. So those was damage popping off them, but on the side of the screen, yes, those are experience points that you well, get. Well, because like, uh, I saw a thing popped up that said like canister, explosion kill, or something like that, and it said plus 50. So oh, you do get more experience. You're right. Yes. There's like little oh, events. Okay, okay. So if you kill by fire, if you kill by it just defeat, I guess I should say it is a teen-rated game. You're not, and they are <laughs> robots. They're not really alive, I guess, in the traditional sense. Right. But they um, machines. They, uh, yeah, the, you, di you, you sort of like, if you use unusual methods to take them out, you kind of get rewarded cool. for that. Yeah. And you'll, you'll see that here, too. So you'll see that this enemy is kind of alerted, and I've used my lure ability, uh, kind of like Ooh. a whistle to hide in the grass. What's um, over there? And <laughs> that noise? Um, come come out, there come you go. Boom. So see, plus 25 stealth kill uh, mm -hmm. for hiding in the grass. So there's a self meter. You see that little eyeball at the top of the screen. So mm -hmm. that kind of tells you the amount of noise you're making, um, kind of how visible you are. And um, Sid, I don't know if you know this. There is a crouch button in this game. <laughs> I did um, hear that. <laughs> um, I no, I, I did use it, but that uh, focus effect looks so cool. By it's the way. really fun, um, especially when you're kind of like stumbling across new enemies, um, or if you're trying to track a herd. Because as you saw, like I, I just had too much fun blowing these oh guys. Oh yeah, so go. fun. Um, Oh, wh what's going on, buddy? Oh, oh look at that. Oh, double no, kill. it started the other one on fire, Oh, are they going to go up, too? Oh. There you go. So the no, they're getting away. Oh, no, not, not well, fast enough. Did I get it? No, those are like or herbiv herbivorous, herbivorous, uh, herbivorous type herbivorous. machines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the technical term. <laughs> <laughs> they're, not, they're not necessarily, they're not like the most fearsome machines. They're kind of more akin to a deer. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, hello. You got you got to keep your head on a swivel uh, <laughs> in Bam. Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, Let's so look at the loot here, by the way. Those metal shards are a form of currency. Use them also to craft arrows. The arrows, uh, the bow and arrow mechanics in this game, second none. Uh, but there's a lot of loot and a lot of crafting and a lot of things you can buy and sell. I really liked all that. Absolutely. Kind of go going into uh, there you go, uh, trophy earned. Nice um, job. Thanks, thanks, Sid. Um, Kind of going along with the conversation. Oh, this is me. Options. This is this has to be me, right? Uh, I think this is me actually. Oh, okay. I think we're staying with me. Um, going with uh, along with the conversation options are a ton of kind of the RPG staples oh, yeah. that you would imagine. Uh, you know, tons it's of loot, gathering. ton of tons mm -hmm. of components. Gathering here, you're kind of picking up materials that you can craft arrows with or, or little health pouches. Are these the items that we see on the D-pad on the bottom left there? Some of them. See like a health potion it looks like? Yeah, so you can craft those. Interesting health mechanic worth pointing out. You have this medicine pouch. You, you gather these sort of life-giving herbs and spices, you know, all that kind of thing. And, and they go into that green meter that's uh, on the upper left-hand corner of your HUD. Under the red one, the red's your actual life meter, the green meter's your medicine pouch. So as you sort of find these uh, famous herbs and spices like and drop them in there, uh, you can use that to you press up on the D-pad to actually heal uh, during a match. So it looks like Aloy just hacked this this machine and is now riding it around. Is that what, am I correct? That is correct. My, uh, you are correct. And then you can see that you can then summon them kind of once you go. Uh, Oops. The bucking Bronco. Yeah. Um, and there there are attacks uh, that you can do while you're on there, both forwards and backwards. But you, this, this guy's going berserk oh. right now. Yeah, it's a little little wild. I'm sorry, buddy. Are there a lot of different types of uh, machines that oh, yeah. you can that you can uh, mount and ride? Oh, around? in terms of, I, I only know of this one, the 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 Grazer uh, or Strider, actually. I think it's called mm. Strider. Yeah. But there are others. There are so tons of machines. Let's take a look into some of the menus here. So uh, obviously you have a, a bunch of different weapons types, and then they have modification slots. You can get oh different God. weapons. That's a good looking UI. Too. Oh yeah, it's slick. Yep. <sighs> I love this game. Now I want to do want to point out this game. Oh, photo mode. I saw photo. Yeah, there's a there's photo, a photo mode. mode. There's also custom UI. I like options. that a lot. I recommend the dynamic option. Yeah. I did want to point out, we are playing this on the standard PS4. It is a mighty fine looking game, but this game is a centerpiece for PS4 Pro. And we did get a quick peek at the, at the latest near final version of the game running on a luxurious 75 inch uh, Sony 4K TV. Oh and it looks, uh, it's wild what that game looks like in 4K. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, uh, obviously 1080 standard uh, PS4 standard footage is, is also just mind blowing, right? It I looks mean, great. I, 
I, I really don't know what, what kind of magic they're playing with uh, over there in Amsterdam. You know, Gorilla, known for their technical prowess, known for lots of things, but uh, th- there's no question uh, that th- that is a particular unique strength of theirs, and uh, they're showing it all off here. Also noticed, you know, reasonably snappy load times, just a good, uh, a great overall experience from the technical perspective. Well, and I, I would actually say no load times. Now, there, uh, if you're fast traveling, yeah. there will be a load. If you, if you if you dive, then there is a load. But but it's seamless between areas. Seamless running across the world. That's uh, uh, Going in and out of dungeons or mm-hmm. ruins, no load times. Oh. Oh. I should have clarified that. It was when I fast traveled, but it wasn't that bad. I want to call this out, too. Sometimes the fear with an open world game is that you're going to get, like, big areas that are completely flat and kind of yeah. just, like, open. Whereas here, at looks like you got a, a very rich tapestry of different elevations, different cover types, different like traversal methods. I mean, it seems like it's very robust. Very colorful, too. Oh, there's a whole lot going on. Very dense foliage. Yeah. And all that. D- density, I think, is, is kind of one of the key things for me. The ga- This is not a game where you're just sort of, you know, running across open plains for, for hours on end. I mean, there's a lot going on. And, and, and here we get a look at the skill tree as well. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, uh, I guess yes. there's kind of three main groups that they've organized them in, but you can you know invest in whichever ones you want. Um, I tended to go for more of the prowler uh, abilities that would let you just kind of like hide in the grass and then take people down or take machines down with uh, with one shot. Um, I can I can guess I'm which tree Sid, Sid went down. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sid very brave. I, I was I went <laughs> all in on Forager. Oh, really? I wanted all those <laughs> yeah, herbs and I'm spices sure. in my no, little that, pouch. Yeah, the that, non-lethal playthrough. That's right, I'm just yeah. gonna cook <laughs> and uh, make potions. <laughs> no, I mean I look I I really love the br- the brave uh, skill tree. I, you see these double shot, triple shot. You can make it so you fire like multiple arrows per shot, and that just I never quite got there. Oh, here this is good too. This is a this is a merchant. Let's let's touch about on this a little bit. Or no, this is just my equipment that I've got. This is my No, this is your merchant. You're you're buying and selling uh, oh, yeah, various yeah, yeah, yeah. goods here. Yeah. So different like different armor, armor. with different sort of emphasis. Mm. again, oh, I just cool. didn't expect any of this in no. this game to be totally. And it all looks yeah. completely different. Yeah. No, it, it's oh, it's great. It's, so it's not just like you're not just buying stat. Upgrades. Right, you're buying like completely new sets of armor that change the way Aloy looks too, and plays. You know, some yeah. of these are highly stealth centric. Others are all about sort of damage output, things like that. You can uh, you can slot upgrade items into them to to kind of further boost them. You know, here we're looking at some of the crafting components. Uh, you know, these are these are just sort of items you use to create things. Like you'll want those metal vessels if you want to create more of the bombs for the slingshots. You got a bunch of different types of ammo, shock arrows, all kinds of good stuff. And of course, you can craft kind of larger packs and larger quivers to carry oh more man. of particular types of items. I definitely hit a point when I was playing yesterday where I'm just like. Mm, now, if I just explore this area a little bit, then I can start to build out my character in this way. And then it's like, Zach, we only have a half an hour. Yeah, we, have to <laughs> we have to catch a flight right now. I feel a little bit of a Far Cry 3 in here. A little bit, a like little the, bit. The yeah, crafting uh-huh, and stuff. Uh-huh. And that game I just became hopelessly addicted to. You're, you're spot on. Like, you can upgrade your your sort of your weapon bandolier, if you will, sort of the pouch yeah, that you yeah, hold yeah. your arrows in yeah. by getting by hunting for animals mm. and, and getting their fatty meat or their rich meat or their <laughs> bony meat, different types of meat, and you use them to, to do different things Look with that water. The dynamic mm. weather system oh, in yeah. this game is really astounding. So I think we're going to take a couple different kind of looks at some of the uh, weather you encountered here. But um, it really, you know, obviously we have a couple different types of rain, but depending on what part of the world you're in, it really can take on a, a really different feel. Here, this is just wind, and you Whoa. kind of see how Aloy is reacting oh to it. God. Um, Doesn't that look <laughs> awesome? It's it's unbelievable. It's a really, really gorgeous game. I want this game. What purpose do the campfires serve? Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait, hold on. Don't talk about campfires is, so yet. Yeah, l- l- Let's the cam- all enjoy the giant robot machine. The, c- the, c- <laughs> the campfires just briefly are, are a way to save, quick save, load. You can, there are also waypoints you can sort of fast travel to. Cool. Uh, now, this is a long neck, and this is this, – I did not – Tall neck, I believe, right? Tall, oh, tall neck, sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, land before time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As usual. <laughs> I just crossed just cross one. <laughs> but, okay, so the tall neck, this, this thing – I didn't know what it would do. All I knew was that it looked really cool, and then I learned – that by clambering on top of this monstrosity, it's it's totally harmless. But by a lot of monstrosity. It's that's beautiful. beautiful. I meant it from the size perspective. You know, this 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 and elegant maybe colossal. Maybe? This colossus. By yeah. getting on top of this colossus, uh, you can you can sort of take it over. You can hack it, kind of oh. the way you did for that other creature, and it basically opens up some of the fog of war, if you may, that oh, covers the cool. map. So it's sort of like a recon item in a way but it's it's a bit of a challenge to get on top of this thing you can see me scurrying all about here 
trying to get on top of a, a building just as it passes by. But such a cool looking creature. Uh, and so distinctive, I think, to the game. Mm -hmm. Just, just again, this. It has a really iconic look. It and does. One that already is echoed in a lot of the, uh, you know, trailers and screenshots that we've seen for Horizon so I far. Oh, here, you here were like, we go. Could oh, this be oh. it? Could this be your? Age? What if it just like turns around? <laughs> turns around and, and vomits fire on me. No, these things are totally harmless from what I've seen. Uh, they're not to be killed. They're meant to be her herbivores. Meant to be. Pacified. Mm. Now to climb up to its yeah, I don't know yeah, what these. I don't know what they eat. These machines. I haven't seen that so far. Let's like give. Motor, let's motor give oil. another. <laughs> <laughs> let's give another shout out to the character animators on this oh, game. Oh yeah. Aloy's um, Aloy's jumping animations and hanging animations yeah. are ridiculous. Look, she's making even me look like I know what I'm doing right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I look elegant and composed. Well, I, I love how she even like she's kind of like kind of yeah trying to her around balance. trying yeah. to stay. Yeah, this yeah. is unreal. Isn't unreal. this crazy though? Oh, oh. Oh, I mean, cl gosh. clearly, I feel like objectively one of the best looking PS4 games out there. Oh, oh clearly. there's no question. And wait do you see it on Pro, I'm telling you, it'll it'll melt your face. Generally said, I do take some issue with your use of objective. Not here. <laughs> Not here, sir. <laughs> wow. Ah, there you Look go. Look at that. There you go. Get a little close encounters of the third kind going on here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Repel down. Repel down. And get ready for an awesome animation. Oh my, oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Man. Now, did you. Okay, good. I was about to say, did you, did you kill it? Oh, good. No, it's he's safe and, no. safe and secure. Yeah. All right, good. Poor he's a buddy Ryan. now. <laughs> Just playing for the good guys now. That's yeah. right. So now on the on the map you you'll see kind of there's different kind of herds that have been revealed and in different kind of other spots uh, of interest yes, in this region. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and speaking of the open world, worth noting that um, kind of once you finish the first few quests, it's not really a gated open world, mm -hmm. and so you can really stumble into some some. Uh, Let's call them uh, pickles uh, <laughs> situation. Uh, here, here's one where I got a little too big for my britches. Uh, so I uh, use my focus there to scan and tag this enemy, and you can see, see you can also track their kind of patrol routes. So these are corrupted enemies. Oh, these yeah, these are, are tough. These are even more fierce uh, than, than the regular enemies. So I thought I could maybe try and pick them off one by one. Um, let's see how that works out for me. I cannot wait to see. <laughs> I'm going to say that it works out perfectly. No, 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 these corrupted enemies, they factor into the storyline. Oh, nice use of the uh, the tripwire there. Nice. Thank you, sir. Nice. I can stun. Oh, finish yeah, them see, off. Yeah, you have a very different play style than I do. I would have been flailing at him. And so going on with well. getting into a Here's the flailing. This isn't oh, good. Oh, 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 no. Oh, Aloy, no. So, so those corrupted uh, machines, as, as part of the... Sleeping. It's part of... <laughs> So here, here's your take on the corrupted machines, by the way. Okay, yeah, this was a fearsome one too. The the, the corrupted machines factor into the storyline, and 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 there's basically some sort of mysterious corruption, for lack of a better term, that that is that is making these machines that sort of live in a certain degree of harmony with the surviving humans, act, making them act unusual. And so, um, actually, it's very interesting. Again, sort of the world that Gorilla's built here, going back to town. Uh, when these these corrupted creatures are running about some of these zones, uh, the, the, the the tribal members were very upset. Uh -oh. They were very upset by the fact that these, these machines seem to be uh, taken over by some sort of hostile force. So we don't really know much about what's causing it, but clearly uh, a significant element of the storyline. Curious to see what goes. Right, and so these enemies, kind of, I think as you mentioned, said the, these ones are usually not hostile. Right. But because they have this corruption, obviously they uh, want to take you out. And some of them act differently. The Watchers, uh, you can see I just healed out of my medicine bag there. Uh, the the Watcher, yeah, this was maybe not the most wise thing to do. Oh my God. Uh, the the Watcher, some of them act quite differently too, like uh, or have different attacks. So it, it's kind of like a different enemy in some ways. Did I like? Oh, at the beginning of this fight, you had a. Whole Ooh. You had a clear plan for that first <laughs> enemy <laughs> and with then the I trip just wire. And then the two others walk around the rock, and you're like, I don't know. I only thought about so, the first so one. So is this a situation where you would say, okay, well, these guys are too strong for me. Let me go level up some more, unlock some more skills. Or is do, do you, exactly. Is there a traditional level up system, or is it purely unlocking skills? And there skills is. Oh, absolutely you? leveling. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. And that is a factor. I, I did go back to that area and take them out right after what you saw there. But I do want to point this out. Yeah, take us home here. Too. This is the Sawtooth, and uh, it actually looks like a smaller one. There, there's a much bigger one I fought earlier that took everything I had to, to take down. 
these guys are and okay this is a bandit this is a totally uh, emergent battle that's happening between uh, a group of bandits you can kind of vaguely see ooh. them through all the, the fire and debris here uh, they got into a fight with the sawtooth and I kind of stumbled upon it so and, I'm and these the are footage is almost up that's right these fire arrows uh, definitely took him out but it was, it was, it was not easy so said game looks great yeah. and you can't wait oh. I mean, look at that that's right looks incredible horizon zero dawn coming out february 28th that's right february 28th uh exclusive to ps4 of course absolutely sid any final thoughts i, I did want to point out i've mentioned if you listen to playstation broadcast i'm not always the biggest fan or it's not the easiest sell for me an open world game it's big time commitment sometimes it's just th 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 this game actually is like right up my alley though and i think so much of it has to do with the universe is obviously awesome but it's it's actually the combat mechanics they're so crunchy it's so satisfying it isn't sort of like fluffy or floaty yes. feeling it's meaty it's like substantial if this was a just standard sort of third person action game i would totally play this game but the fact that it's also got all this uh this giant universe around it so i, I this one really really grabbed me more than even i expected yeah and it's amazing that obviously it comes from a studio whose heritage is in a completely different genre and yet all those mechanics that we just showed off felt so natural and so rewarding. Hundred percent. Yeah, I, I mean, mentioned that this game feels super inspired. It's really, yeah. really cool to see what Gorilla can do when they can break out and try something new. Absolutely, and I, I, I would just say, somebody who's, who's worked here for a while and, and seen all the games we've put out, I think this is one of the one of the more ambitious games I've seen PlayStation sort of work on with its internal worldwide studios. So, uh, kudos to Gorilla Games. Uh, kudos to you, Zach, for very. Uh, responsible and, and smart play style. <laughs> and, uh, it's its own reward. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn out February 28th on PS4. PlayStation.